Boys and girls, welcome back to Inside the War Room. <laughs> you are joined with Joe and Tom and myself. Today, we're going to be ranking all NFL quarterbacks. <laughs> oh, you boys ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. This is going to get exciting. Right. The first division, AFC East. Ooh. Mm. Okay. All right. So we got there Patriots, Jets, Dolphins, Bills. Bills. Yep. Do we rank it from lowest to highest or highest yeah. to lowest? Yeah, lowest? Lowest. Lowest first. To highest. This is an interesting one to start tough. off on. I'll get it started right off the bat. Mac Jones is the worst. Oh, man. Without even seeing him, I feel like tough. Mac Jones is the worst. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Dude. I, I almost I was thinking two Z- of there. Mm. You're thinking Zach Ooh. Wilson. I don't know if you could do that. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm saying wow. it just because of the unknown of the two rookies. Like, they have potential. We've seen. To uh, now, it might be easier because it's his second season. He got kind of has a playbook down packed yeah. and all that. But that's kind of what I'm looking at. I don't know if I could put him last though. I get what you're saying, but I don't know if I could put two. So, last. Oh, do we all have a different quarterback we want to put last? Can we agree? That's kind of crazy. Can we agree? Josh Allen's number one. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Josh Allen. Josh number Allen one. is number one without a doubt. <laughs> Definite like MVP candidate. Yeah. If you're a Bills fan, you you're gonna be excited for the next 10, 15 years. Man, I, I mean, just, I don't know. I I'm not a Mac Jones believer. I'm not either. I'm not either. And this is like very interesting yeah, to me I'm because not. there's three people like in the same tier. Yeah, you're right. I, so I could, we could put them all last. You know? Let's okay. Let's think about. <laughs> I don't know. Let's think about it this way because this also plays in the people that surround them, whether it be the offensive line, the tight ends, the running backs, the receivers. Obviously, the worst Patriots. receiving core. Oh no, the, the Jets. Jets. The Jets. They have Corey Davis. They, oh, they got just, a rookie. Yeah, they did. I think the Patriots have the worst. The Patriots probably have the worst. Okay, yeah. I. Mac Jones. Yeah, I will go with Mac Jones. Woo woo. Because he so. they, he has no one to throw to. Okay, so now we have this Tua this battle and between Zach Wilson. Oh, man, I just can't. Which I agree. I don't. I don't think Tua is going to be like the next great quarterback. But I think he has better he, support yes. around him though that will make him a little bit better than Zach Wilson does. I agree. I'm not a Zach Wilson believer. I'm not either. But, but I think I believe him more than Tua. I but can't. he doesn't have the pieces around him, so it's going to be more That's tough. What, it's the Jets, man. Wow. I just it feels so weird to rank Tua as a number two. I know. I know Especially we're going to look at the that, other that divisions. That shows their division. I Let's mean, be real. We're putting Josh Allen and the rest. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> That's what yeah. it is. Like yeah, it's happens. it's a drop off a cliff yeah, for yeah. the next three. Okay. Oh, all right. You know what? I'll settle. I'm not. I don't like any of the guys that much. Yeah. I'm like cold doing That's it. I don't. It's weird though because I think I have two as my four. Wow. It's weird. Wow. It's yeah. weird. All right. But okay. All right. So that's how we're, let's let's name the ranking off. So we got Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, Tua, and then we got Josh Allen. I know like a lot of people really like Zach Wilson I know. a lot. So I, I I have a little bit of hope on him. So I would have Zach Wilson as my two, but I'm okay with that though. So we do the NFC East. NFC East. Okay. Up next. Cowboys, Eagles. Um, Washington football team, yeah, Giants. Not, this is not, another not interesting many one. Great okay, can we get like the easy one out of the way first, or is there an Dak easy one for you? Well, do, we, do we want to rank them first? Not the best <laughs> group of people. None that have proven anything. Let's get the easy one out of the way. Dak. Dak. It's Dak at number one. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter if he's coming back from an injury. No. Yeah. His receiving core is crazy good. Yeah. Cooper, good Gallup, offense. Yeah. I think we got to put Jalen Hurts last, in my opinion. I don't know if he's going to be. I, I, I don't, don't like Jalen Hurts either. But he's better than Daniel Jones or Ryan Fitzpatrick. I don't know about that. I don't know. Jalen Hurts, I don't like him at all. But I'm looking <laughs> at the rest of the list. Yeah. I think, I think Daniel Jones is number two for me. Uh, yeah. I Weird to say. I know. I would put Jalen Hurts last. And then that puts... Uh, you would put... Like, Fitzpatrick probably won't make it through the season. Like, they might have another quarterback. Right. Then again, that could happen to Hurts also. Yeah, like, that Fitz magic, dude. I don't know. He, he finds a way to get it done. I haven't So really none of you guys like Jalen Hurts? I don't. I, no. I don't. See, I don't either. Sorry. So Jalen Hurts is four. Yep. Then Fitzpatrick. Then we got... Uh, Daniel Dan- Jones. Okay. And then Dak Prescott. So Jalen Hurts... I mean, the receivers aren't even anything. No. Great. No, it's not. And that's why I think the Eagles are going to be... Pretty bad this year. They got Devonta Smith, but I mean, he's a rookie. We'll see how he does. I don't. Yeah. I just. I don't know. Up third, the AFC West. We got the Chiefs, okay. Chargers, Raiders, Broncos. See, I like this one because it gets a little bit, a little bit more. You know, a high yeah. call up. Still, still an easy number one. Yeah. Pat yeah. Mahomes. I feel like maybe we should just start with the number ones from now. It's just way easier to get okay. those guys yeah. out Patrick of the way Mahomes. first. So we're looking at we have Patrick Mahomes, we have Justin Herbert. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Teddy Two Gloves. Teddy Two Gloves, and then we have Derek Carr. Yeah. 
This isn't that hard to me. The Broncos also have Drew Locke, who yeah. could come in. He didn't he prove could. anything last year. Which, yeah, like, I think it, it is a downgrade. Yeah. But, all right, so we have Mahomes at the top. Does anybody think that Mahomes isn't the best QB in the league? Yeah, I agree. I think he's uh, awful. I think he's a bust. No, of course not. He's <laughs> <laughs> clearly the number one. He's, he's quite possibly the best quarterback in the league right now. Yeah. I don't think there is as big of a gap as there once was, though. I agree. And that's number two, Justin Herbert. Can we agree with that? Yeah. I like Josh Allen a lot. As well, I mean, I know it's oh, a different oh, division. I mean, like oh, in the oh, NFL, I you meant in the division. Okay. I, mean, I thought you meant in the division as well. Yeah. yeah. In the NFL in general. Oh yeah. Some players are kind of catching up. Oh, where he's just not yeah. like on this another planet. I agree. Yeah. But he's still the best. Quite possibly. I agree. Still the I agree. best. So I thought, yeah, I thought you meant like in the division. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> no, my bad. My bad. I was kind of, <laughs> kind of going out there today, but it's fine. Yeah, Justin up. Herbert, number two. Number two. Yeah. So I mean, if you're a Chargers fan, you have to be so excited. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh that's, my that's goodness, That's the biggest man. glimmer of hope. Especially, I mean, you had to throw up Rivers. Yeah, he didn't do... I mean, he was a good quarterback. Yeah. But to get another one that quick, I mean... They need a Super Bowl so bad. I know. All those wasted years they with Phillip no Rivers. That's the thing. They have no fans. Not easy with no fans. Y'all got to show up for him. Honestly. Yeah. Seriously, man. Yeah. All right, at number three, are we at a consensus with Derek Carr? Yes. Yep. Yes, 100%. I think he's... I don't think he's the best quarterback out there, but I feel like he's far superior to Teddy. Teddy yeah, I mean, average he has, guy. He has, he has good games. I mean, I say they beat the Chiefs. He had a good, good game. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, he can get it done every once he in a can. while. He's just, weapons are. I mean, he's yeah. got Darren Waller, yeah. but they really aren't helping him out too much. No, to no. be honest, like they haven't for a while. Yeah. Like he's never really had that one guy that's yeah. like, oh man, yeah. that guy's awesome. Like he's helping them out. So we got Teddy Bridgewater, Derek Carr. Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes. That'll pretty That's much do it. Me. Nice. So, so NFC Cardinals. West, what is that? Yeah, Cardinals, Rams, Seahawks. Uh, Seahawks, and 49ers. Yeah, this one's tough. This is a good one. So we have Kyler Murray, Russell yeah. Wilson. Yeah. We have Matt Stafford mm-hmm. yeah. coming in. And then we have Garoppolo uh, or Lance. Trey Lancer, Garoppolo. But Which one are we going to go with? We'll, we'll go with like their quarterback tandem as a whole. Okay. okay, I mean, because they're group. both going to play. Okay. But with that said, because they have Man, a tandem, I think you have to put them at the bottom. Right. I would put them last. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I like Trey Lance a lot. You you don't like him as much? I'm not as hyped up as a lot of other people are. I don't know. I could just see him being like, I don't know, another like RG3 type situation. But he hasn't done anything yet, and there's very good quarterbacks in this division, so they have to be there so at think, number you four. You think he's better than Justin Fields? Yes. Wow. He's, he's going to get so spot. much help. Like yeah, He got drafted right, yeah. early, and a very good team dr- traded up to get him. Yeah. So it's it's going to be like a lot off his back like right away. Yeah, no, good, you are right. Good coaching, right. good players. Everything's there for him to yeah. succeed. Oh, yeah. There's no excuses on his yeah. part. Next up, the third spot. <laughs> this is kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Stafford, Kyler, Russ. I know. I, this is getting tougher than I thought it was going to be. Like I thought we were going to roll through these. So I would. Man, is that hard. I kind of want to put Kyler in a third spot. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. I, I was the only reason I would say Stafford is because, like, he's on a new team now. Maybe we'll see how it goes. He's but, older. Yeah, but. Yeah. But, like, Stafford, he ha- he's had a team that has brought him down for oh, so yeah. many years. Big time. Like, yeah. he could be known as one of the, like, in an all-time great quarterback if he wasn't yeah, on the Lions. Honestly. Mm-hmm. He could have been. Yeah. I Would he have been? I don't know for sure, but he definitely could have yeah. been. Yeah. He did have Calvin Johnson there for a little bit, though. Yeah. And hey, they went to work. Yeah, you're right. But oh, man, right. Kyler's still young. He has a he's good, but he doesn't make the best decisions though. He I was just, gonna say the way that he rolls back in the yeah. pocket and scrambles around, like he, he runs back like 10, 20 yards yeah. sometimes. I mean, yeah, yeah. Not to say he's not good, but I think no, we I think have he's to put him up coming. I think I agree. he could be the answer for them. But. I agree. Kyler Murray. Right. Then that's followed by Matthew Stafford. We Stafford. All agree. Yeah. Stafford. And then Russell Wilson. Yeah. Russell Wilson, number one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, Nothing bad to say about Russell Wilson. I love yeah. Russell Wilson, yeah. man. He's good guy. So good. I respect him a lot. Yeah. 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 He's pretty much doing everything right. Oh, for and, sure. Yeah. For sure. And then he got Lockett. Yeah. He has Metcalf. He takes games over. I mean, yeah. Definitely the most solid division, though, so far. Yeah. This is yeah. the hardest one, in my opinion. Move on to the AFC North. AFC you ready for this, Joe? North. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys don't know, me and Joe are diehard Steelers fans. Big so this time. is going to get interesting here. We have probably. Baker Mayfield. Yep. We have Joe Burrow. Yep. We have Lamar Jackson. And we have Big Ben oh, Roethlisberger. Wow. Just reading off the list. This is. Holy this is crap, tough. is this tough? This is tough. I okay. Mean, I, five years from I now? I could talk about this for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> five years from now? I tell you what, I bet you it might be Joe Burrow. But I think I'm going to put him at number four right now. Right, I was going to put I him last right now. One. 
Yeah, the division yeah, like no, five right years from now. Oh, for sure. no, he could be, no doubt. I'm tr- I'm debating between. I think yeah, it got to be Joe Burrow, right? Yeah, he missed he, a lot of last season. Yeah, he's new. He's injured. I mean, I, I think he's going to be a great quarterback, but so far for this season, I yeah. can't put him above anybody. I think we have to go Baker Mayfield, right? I don't know. I feel like Lamar's done so much more. I don't think Lamar Probably, is Probably because he won the MVP, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Lamar is uh, the greatest quarterback in the league, but I feel like he's done more than Baker's done. Baker has one heck of a team around him. <laughs> in my opinion, I feel like I have Baker. Baker and Lamar in the same tier. Yeah, I agree. I do agree. Yeah, it's tough because Baker's be, better at agree. passing, but Lamar's got those legs. It's yeah. <laughs> Lamar's done more. Yeah. That's the only reason why I put him above Baker. But what it, does Ben Roethlisberger fall? Like these three to me are really close. No, I agree. I know Ben. He's old. If I he's old, but if there's like a game out of that, if there's a quarterback in that division that I had to pick to win a football game, I'm going Ben. Right. Like I said, I would put Lamar just slightly above Baker just because of the accolades that he's. Okay, had. I think we have to put. I mean, I think I'd have to say Lamar is number one. Yeah. 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 Dang. I'm I don't know if Ben can make it the whole season. I know, but I'm still Lamar putting him up. I'm still putting him above Baker. Baker did fairly good last he did. year. Yeah. Yeah. Him, Wasn't he, anything crazy, him, but if we're including the people around him, I do feel like he has a better you know and it is tough, man. They got a good, they, they have a good offensive line. And that's huge. Yeah. Uh, we're talking and about our favorite player of all time right now. And I, know, I but just, dude, I don't know. I think I'm leaning at Ben at number three. And you of all people cannot stand Baker Mayfield. Yeah. I'm not a big not fan my of favorite. Either. I think I gotta put Ben at three. That's what I'm kinda leaning towards. I would agree I with that. I don't want to, but I think I have to. Yeah, I just from what I've seen at the end of last season. Yeah. You're yeah, right. but like I said, he I was know. so good, and like Ben could be good this year because we have the new offensive coordinator. I, mean. I don't know how much of that was off but the plays that they were calling. It's, it is like you mentioned; it's a it's a different offensive line. It's I it's know. a lot of fresh faces coming in. Is that going to mesh well? I don't know. A make or break season though for Baker Mayfield because yeah. he has been underwhelming yeah. for where he got picked. At, you know I what would I mean? honestly say it could be a make or break season for Lamar Jackson as well. Yeah. Yeah, or if he doesn't improve in the passing game or anything like that. I mean, he's not going anywhere because they pay him so much money, so they're going to keep working with him, but they'll know. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. So, are we doing Lamar, Baker, Ben? I guess. A Burrow? This is is very tough. It is tough. Because like I said, if it comes down to Baker or Ben, then I'm putting in like a playoff game. Yeah, I'm putting Ben in. Still putting Ben in. But it's like, if we're doing like the season overall, it's just like, man. Dang. I, I, but just... Say it, um, yeah. Just get it over with. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Rip that band aid. Ben, right off. I love yeah. you, man. If you watch this, yeah. but between all three of those, that was so tight for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. Up next will be the NFC North. We got the Packers with Aaron Rodgers, Bears, Justin Fields, Vikings. Well, well okay. Well, Andy come Dalton. on now. Come yeah. on now. We know it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's going to happen. We have the Vikings with Kirk Cousins, yeah. and then we have the Lions with Jared Goff, who we should just put at number four right now. This is so bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> No, the Bears to do whole it. group that's, in that is where what, I'm. Debating. I'm looking at QB situation here. I mean, golf to Fields or Andy Dalton. No, I don't know. Justin Fields has the exciting factor. You're right, right but he hasn't played yet. But that's he which, hasn't played yet. That's what's risky because he hasn't played yet. He could be a complete bust. We Jared can't. Goff. I don't know what you guys think. I feel like he was a burden on the Rams. Like, he brought the Rams down. I agree. I agree with that. But I agree. And now he's on the worst, probably the worst team. But if Maybe you put second Andy Dalton team. or Justin Fields on the Rams during that time, it's like, how much better would they have been? Just, you'll never know, uh-huh. especially with Justin Fields. But I, I, I'm having a hard time putting golf at last. I, I do think, ah, man, I think Andy Dalton might be a better quarterback than Jared Goff. Maybe. I think pretty so. Pretty close. Yeah, I I'd, I have to say close. I have to say four for golf. I I agree with that. With I the team he's it. on, the people that are surrounding him, yeah, like he's set up to fail. I keep it's sad yeah, to say. I that he is set up to fail. Yes, right. and then so then what's Chicago after that then? With yeah. and then well, Ooh. and then you have Kirk, Kirk Cousins, Cousins and Justin Fields and oh man, well, Kirk Cousins, other? Aaron Rodgers, oh, Aaron number Rod- one. Yeah. So Aaron Rodgers is clearly number one. Yeah, and then we're just going to be between Fields. And Cousins for the second spot. Cousins hasn't done anything. He hasn't. He, he's had big he's games. He's had big moments. And he is also like stunk. Yeah. Bad. You're right. It's like, how is that even yeah. possible to be on both of those levels? Listen, I think Fields has the brighter future ahead of him. He has a brighter path, but I can't put him ahead of Kirk Cousins because he's never played 
uh, you know, regular season NFL game yet. That's fair enough. I want yeah. to. I will say I want yeah. to. I agree. But I, I respect that, and it I won't tempting. do it. Yeah. But I, I agree, want I'm, to. I'm good with it. Yeah. Okay. So we got Aaron Rodgers. Then we got Kirk Cousins, followed by the Bears squad, <laughs> and then Goff. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much I'm saying Fields, though. But yeah. Vikings will be starting Kellen Mond Ooh. sometime in the season. Ooh. Get excited for him because he right. might be something. He might be something. And then we look back at this and be like, yep. dang, should have seen it coming. Yeah. But I said it, though. Good thing you're here. Good thing you're watching. <laughs> now you know. All right. All right, back to the AFC. AFC South. AFC South. Oh, man, this is a mess one. We got the Titans Yep. with uh, Ryan Tannehill. Oh, yeah. We got the Houston Texans with Tyrod Taylor. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, do we have to count Tyrod? I guess. Yeah, he's the pretty much he's starting as of right now. He's yeah, starting. Uh, yeah. I mean, Colts have to. with uh, Carson Wentz and the Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence. Man, pretty, Jeez. pretty stinker of a division when it comes. Wow. To Tannehill one. Tannehill's has one. To be. I, you can't not. Has to be. Has to be. See, I'm breaking every rule, but I, I kind of want to put I, Trevor I, Lawrence I, second. I, Man, I'm definitely putting Tyrod last. I think. Yeah, I yeah, I think we have to do it in that exact order. Tannehill, yeah. Lawrence, then we're gonna have Wentz. That yeah, then we'll have Wentz. Mm-hmm. Which, but like I kind of I don't know. Like I said, I said it before. I, I kind of like Wentz a little bit. I'm past Wentz. But but you like him better than Tyrod. I do. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But I just feel like he's I feel like he's a second stringer. Carson Wentz. It's fair enough. Tyrod, he's set up to fail too in that organization. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dude, I actually can't wait for Trevor Lawrence to play, though. Oh, and I they picked up Marvin Jones for him, too. Yeah. Chenault that they drafted, mm-hmm. DJ yeah. Chark. Mm-hmm. Like, the offense has pieces around it. So, like, and that's going to be, like, a high-scoring team that can't yep. play defense at Urban all. Meyer coming in, too, which a lot mm-hmm. of people are kind of not right. even thinking about because right. of all the pieces mm-hmm. they're putting together with the rookies and stuff. Exactly. But I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Nice. Okay. So Next, the NFC South. So, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers <laughs> with Tom Brady. The Atlanta Falcons with Matt Ryan. We have the New Orleans Saints with Jameis Winston. And then we have the Carolina Panthers with Sam Darnold. So, Jameis Winston and Sam Darnold, man, that's, that's what I tough. Don't even... That's tough. Sam Darnold has more weapons. He does. Jameis Winston. He had Michael I think Thomas, is, but he's out. Oh, I think I mean, Jameis Winston's better, but I think Sam Darnold might actually, like the stat line for Sam Darnold might look better. Yeah. <laughs> Like, originally, I just wanted to put Sam Darnold at four because I think Jameis is better. But come the end of the season, I don't know if it'll look like that. Yeah, I know. You're right. 30 for 30. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what all the picks he throws. Man. I Honestly, I could go either way. Does anybody feel like one of them should be last? Do you have... I think Darnold should be last. I could give If we're just going off of the quarterback itself. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sam Darnold. Jameis Winston. Matt has Ryan. to be Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. How many more years for Matt Ryan, Logan? I hope a lot. I actually, I don't know. I, I give him three more years. Three. It's realistic. I think three more re- three more years. Fair enough. All right. That one wasn't, I mean, was a, this is tough. I, this is actually more tough yeah, than I thought. for sure. Yeah. I hope we do something for him because, in my opinion, he's one hell of a quarterback. So, yeah. I'd love to get him something. <laughs> All right. So, that's going to wrap up our rankings by division for quarterbacks. I feel like we're making videos that are going to get people upset, though, oh, yeah, right are. away. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's hard to argue some of our picks, though. I feel like they're yeah. pretty on. There might Listen, be some controversy. The AFC but North was so tough. That was me. the toughest one for me. Yeah, no This doubt. was very realistic, though. I don't think we overstepped anything. I don't think we tried to play any favoritism. I think, right. honestly, we stuck to our morals, and I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm trying to think, like. A lot of some people like Sam Darnold a lot. So Which they, I don't get, man. But it's Carson Wentz too. They do, yeah. Like I said, I'm kind of one of them, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys as always for watching. All you brand new subscribers, supporting the dream definitely yeah. means a lot. More from inside the war room gonna be coming very soon. Maybe even today. If not, probably tomorrow. We'll see you all very soon. Peace.